So I'm leaving that signpost. St Agnes Fountain we'll pick up again after we've visited the village of Allaford. Uh, I'm presuming there's going to be a bit of upward walking as well after going down here. In my experience when you go down you've got to go up. So anyway, this is very pleasant. I haven't even thought about I'm getting back yet. I'm leaving that till later. I'll worry about that when I get there. It might be I can even cross over and come back on the other side to pour a lot cat. I'll do all that when I get to Selworthy. Selworthy will be the destination because it's got a church. It's the 26th of September, 2018. This is probably video four. Could even be five because I'm doing short ones. I've left, left Bosington. I didn't see anything open there, but the toilets were open. I'm heading for Allaford, which is supposed to be a beautiful little village. It doesn't look like it's got a church. Um, Selworthy seems to have churches and memorials and things so <sighs> I mean coming back the same way it's going to be very hilly though if you think back up will be hilly but we'll see looks like quite damp here as well sun doesn't seem to get here to dry this out I covered my feet in deep heat after yesterday's walk as well fresh socks um, also I've put in some thicker liners in um, soles inside the boot I think I had them in there before I think I forgot to put new ones in I wondered why my feet felt a bit sore I think normally I put some extra cushioned soles in there and at the moment that is treating my feet well imagine this in the winter it's coming down here now like this this is why you have to have proper walking boots see when you uh, come up against um wet and muddy conditions. I don't know what's happening in the world exactly. I haven't really been... I've got the telly. I put it on in the evenings because it is dark evenings now in the van. Although I could always listen to the radio, I suppose. But, no, I've been putting the telly on. Keeping up with these tenders. Going to bed pretty early. Turn up past. Chatted to a few people on the campsite. There's quite a few people on their own, I notice. I'm not alone. There's a little stream down there. And I, I talk about Quantox. But of course all over our beautiful England. Well, and Scotland, Wales, Ireland, all that. There's so much beauty. There's so much. And I, don't, I, I ain't got the enough time maybe when you become a spirit you have the time but I've been all over the place I always like to go for walks Porlock is a very quintessential English village and that means everything that's English to say no more um, I think uh, I'm not getting into any politics no, anyway, it's beautiful it's retaining its character over and out right, Allaford owned by the National Trust most of the village apart from a few housing association bungalows or houses 
you can rent here. Um, it's owned by the National Trust. It's a rare thing, apparently. There's a stone bridge down there and a waterfall. Um, I passed. It's the same river I passed earlier. There is a rural museum here, but I might do that on the way back, depending on how things go. Oh, no. Depending on how things go, right? Yeah. More people coming. Self catering accommodation in there. And here we've got some nice views of the bridge. Stone Bridge. Very pretty. And there. Uh, I'm going to walk over it now and get over the other side. This is a very old English village which is being looked after. I think he said a million pound for a barn to be done up at the moment. And a lot of work in the manor house or something. One of the locals just told me. So here we go folks. Passing over this very old bridge, isn't it lovely? It's nice that we still got that. I mean, it's, I mean there's been so many bridges like this that have probably just disappeared, haven't they? Footbridge, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Over and out for a minute. So just carry on from that video I was doing a minute ago. Beautiful Virginia creeper climbing uh, over the little gatehouse there. Um, just some lady gone by on a horse. I managed to get a picture of her up from the back, so didn't show her face or anything. Um, so this is really pr pretty, pretty, isn't it? It's worth doing the diversion for. Worth doing the diversion, Meadowside. Yeah, because I could have gone straight up to the fountain earlier, but I'm glad I didn't. So I'm not sure what route I'm going to take on the way back. It depends how I feel. It does depend how hot it gets as well. It's all right when you're in the wood. That's the Bosington. Public footpath to Bosington. I don't want to go to Bosington though, do I? Maybe I've got to carry on up the hill. This is where things always go wrong, don't they? See, there's a path there. I don't know whether I should join it there. and get up there. It's hard to know. Should we go and see? Why doesn't it say sell, sell worthy then? Get the map out again. Over and out a minute.